Hello everyone and welcome back to another build on my channel. Today I thought it would be super fun if we did something a little bit different. And if you don't recognize this house, don't worry. We are on Mossy Lane and we are at the Pleasant Household, which is a family that was reintroduced to The Sims 4 in the university pack. And I really think the homes in this in this pack particularly are relatively bad. And that's totally okay, but this is Lilith and Angela Pleasant's home, and they are an iconic Sims Towny family. And if you know anything about them, you know they're very polar opposite. And throughout the speed build, I'm going to get a little bit more into the history of the family, but I thought we should start with a tour of the house. Honestly, this build is more filled than normal EA, like, predisposed builds, so I am a little happy with that. I do think this whole kitchen situation over here is like WTF Sims team, why would you do this? I don't really know. Oh, I just noticed, why on earth did they use counter pieces instead of like regular cabinets? That just doesn't even make sense. What the fuck? Anyway, um, there's like a lot of weird quirky things in this house. It's also very expensive. Like this thing right here is really expensive. It's 2,500 simoleons. And then when you go upstairs, we are in what I would assume is Lilith's um, floor, if you will. Now, she has essentially two rooms up here, but it doesn't really make sense. Like, the purple ambiance, like, I'm here for it, I guess. But what's with all the red? And why is there just a, like, it's like a modern furnishing in here? And then, like, this random rug and this random bookshelf that are also very expensive. And then Homegirl only gets a twin bed, like, kind of rude. She does have a very nice large bathroom. And this, this irks me. This irks me. Do you see this right here? Do you know what that is? That is a pool light. Aqua glow pool light. Why the fuck are there 10,000 aqua glow pool lights in this hallway? I don't know. Like, normally this random painting would make me mad, but it's these. It's this bullshit right here that makes me mad. So, Sims team, not happy with you right now. Anyway, let's continue up into... Angela's side or floor I guess hers isn't honestly that bad like she's got a lot of really expensive artwork the hallway's a little long and weird she's got this creepy photo but all in all everything matches you know she's got all the necessities she has a very nice large bathroom and my other bone to pick is she has what I guess is like a walk-in closet um but when you play with, like, the walls down, which I'm assuming most of us play like that, like, while we're actively playing. Okay, another bone to pick. This is definitely, like, a front door, but whatever. Pop off this, but, like, what's with just the random shoes? Like, when you, when you have it like this, it just looks like random shoes. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't stand that. I don't stand this house, and that's why I'm gonna fix it. As you can see, they live in this 20 by 15 lot in Brightchester, which is, again, the world that came with university. And I thought we could just go through their traits a little bit so you know them a little bit more as I talk into their, their, their history. So this is Lilith. She's more of our goth kind of rebel sister, if you will. And she is a public enemy and has a dastardly bonus trait. She's also a loner, a slob, and a kleptomaniac. Then, on the other hand, we have her sister, who's a little bit more plain Jane, a little bit more casual, and she is a painter extraordinaire with the Muser bonus trait. She is also good, neat, and a foodie. Yeah, they couldn't really get more opposite. So, let's go build them a house that might fit into their standards, as well as their level of iconicness. I just want to start off by saying that if you can hear the construction going on outside my house, I deeply apologize. And I have been so excited to share this video, guys, with you, and I really hope you enjoy it. So thanks for watching in advance. If you haven't already guessed by the title, we are redoing the Pleasant Sisters home in Brightchester that came with the University Expansion Pack. And I decided to pretty much bulldoze the entire thing, and there is not a lot of nod back to the original home, and I'm not sorry about that because I really thought it was a little ugly based on what you guys just saw. You guys saw it. If you disagree, uh, we can agree to disagree. But anyway, I went with a townhome kind of thing, and I know that townhomes don't necessarily work in The Sims, but I really like this idea. This build is available on the gallery. I believe it's under opposite twin build, but 
if you just look for my origin ID, which is Tiana305, and as always is linked in the description box down below, you can simply find it on my gallery. I know we don't have the real working townhomes like I mentioned, which is extremely disappointing, but you can always play with either both families on both sides of the townhome, such as with the Pleasant Sisters, or you could always use the roommate system and simply lock whatever side of the townhome you do or don't want to use. I will say this home is extremely expensive. I don't even remember how expensive, but you know, there's nothing wrong with using a little debug or not debug, but mother load cheats and whatnot. In this video, I am going to be focusing on Angela's side. I was going to just do one video, but when I put all the footage together, it was going to just be an extremely long speed build. And I did go ahead and cut out a lot of working on the outside of the home because I fiddled with it so much. Like, I just couldn't get the right shape I wanted. But you can already see it coming together with the left side being Lilith's side of the townhome and the right side being Angela's. And I just think both are so beautiful in their own unique way. And I'm really happy with how they came out. For this little mini series of videos, since it is going to be split up in multiple parts, I am mainly focusing on the Pleasant family that we see in The Sims 2. The Pleasant family is perfect. In The Sims 2 Pleasant View, you start off with a four person household, the Pleasant family, with two perfect upper middle class parents with their two perfect twin daughters. However, following the bitter divorce of Daniel and Mary Sue Pleasant, after it is found out that Daniel is cheating on Mary Sue with the family's maid, the two sisters, Angela and Lilith, decide they really need to amend their bitter relationship. This is easier said than done when dealing with two sisters whose only common ground is the DNA sh that they share. It has been seen throughout the Sims timeline that Angela is the golden child, the apple of her parents' eye. Her name translates to angel, literally. As a toddler, she was taught basic skills needed to thrive, such as potty training and walking. Overall, Angela's upbringing appeared to be much more of a happy one in comparison to her sister. Flash forward to now, it seems that the two sisters have made their way back to the family home right here in Brightchester, which is the world that came with the Sims 4 University expansion pack, Dis which is in desperate need of some updates, according to me. Here, Angela studies art history at Brightchester University. Now the question is, will the two sisters be able to continue their thriving relationship with their new living conditions, or will they crack under their past resentments? As you can see with L Angela's townhouse, I really tried to incorporate some more of her personality in the overall build, because just based on their Sims bios throughout the different Sims games, Angela is a brighter, maybe in a way even girlier, if you would go that far to say, in comparison to her sister Lilith, and I really wanted her home to reflect that, both on the inside and the outside, because one thing I wasn't super thrilled with with the old home is, first of all, the entire layout of it, and second of all, how weird and big and boxy it was. But one thing I did take from the original home that I really, really enjoyed was the stark contrast between the two sisters' living spaces, and I wanted to continue that into this build. Just from the outside, you can see how jarring of a contrast it is between the two girls, and I don't mind that in the slightest. I am a little embarrassed by how long the outside of these homes took me to kind of get together because the inside comes together so much more quickly and I actually cut out so much of the outside of the homes. It's a little ridiculous. Anyhow, as we get into Angela's home, it is picturesque. I have this whole theory as a child. I wasn't super girly. I absolutely love girly things now. If it's pink, I must have it. Like this sofa, if I could get that in real life, ugh, I would have it. Throughout Angela's side of the town home, you can see I really tried to incorporate things of her personality. I went with a pastel blue and pink vibe for the main living, dining, and kitchen space. And I honestly can say I really think the color scheme came together extremely nice because it's not something I would have normally picked with just honestly, like I think those blue cabinets are a little hard to use because they're just so 
bright and they're like almost childlike but i paired them with the white upper cabinets which i think ended up looking really good let me know if you agree and if you don't agree don't say anything because i am sensitive anyhow as i was starting to build the bottom floor i almost felt like the space was kind of small but i refused to make it bigger a because i really didn't have the space b because i had already fiddled with the outside so many different times and was kind of sick of it at that point and lastly i there is really only one sim living in this quote-unquote townhouse and one sim living on the other so they really don't need to be that big in my opinion but that's just me if you want to make it bigger i don't think it'd be that hard to be big make it bigger oh this is one of my favorite parts this is my second favorite part of this house the color scheme being the third and the first favorite part of this house being upstairs but i really tried to incorporate some of angela's pleasant personality in the actual build i let out a lot of arts and crafts around the home but as you can see in that little nook corner which i absolutely love and wish i had one in real life i put a little painter station because not only is she an art history major but she's also extremely artistic and i thought that was just like a fun way to actually have my sims that i'm building for feel like they really do live here and before I uploaded this on the gallery, I believe I had the Pleasant Sisters go ahead and take some pictures together that I also decorated each of their houses with, as they are kind of working on their relationship and I wanted to reflect that. But of course, if you didn't want to use this house to play with the Pleasant Sisters and instead decide to maybe use it for an opposite twin challenge or just because you feel like it and that's what you want to do, you can always go ahead and delete them or you can totally have like a creepy little shrine of the Pleasant Sisters and I wouldn't blame you. Furthermore, I completely bulldozed the other lot, which you guys saw in the very beginning, and I would have maybe liked to, no, I'm lying, I would not have wanted to renovate the house, so that's why I did not go that direction at all, and I'm not sorry in the slightest, but I did try my very hardest to incorporate some of the original elements, like I said, first with the kind of jarring color scheme and also with the original walk-in closet that Angela had in her massive bedroom on the third floor. Each of the sides of the townhome have kind of like a little additional secret bonus room, if you could call it that. And I made sure to take advantage of that when I was building in this house for more lore and just because I thought it was kind of neat and I didn't have anything else to do with the space. Anyways, so Angela has a beautiful walk-in closet upstairs right off her bedroom and it also doubles as like a changing room. I put a little stool in there for her to sit on, um, a really beautiful massive mirror that you'll see here in a second, and I think that might be it. And obviously like clothes racks and stuff. As you can see, we are on to the actual primary bedroom in this townhome, which I think came out so beautiful and so picturesque and pink. I really embraced the girliness and that little octopus you see on the side table right there by the stack of books. I thought that was so cute. I found that in debug when I was looking through, which I cut out because I literally looked through debug forever. But I had a pink one and I also put a little green one that I decided to put in Lilith's apartment because I thought that was like a cute little twin sister thing and just something else to further incorporate that they are working on their relationship they are sisters they do love each other they just hit a bit of a rough patch and favoritism amongst parents can do that which is not super fun shout out to all my middle child out there that is me anyway we are almost to the end of this video I'm just putting in a couple details and of course painting the walls because I never ever do that until the very end which a lot of people dislike but I never know when I want to paint the walls and I just just let me have my 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 method okay the method to my madness works for whatever reason because I am super proud of this build and love the way it came out I love this tile that came with the high school years pack because it's literally gorgeous. and for the bedroom instead of pink I actually went with a yellow because I just thought like Angela angel pleasant beautiful perfect sunshine rainbows all of that and we are onto the backyard with it's just a little entertaining space with these beautiful pink flowers yes thing pink and a grill because again angela is a foodie 
I had so much fun not only recreating the Pleasant House as it severely needed an update, but I also really enjoyed getting to take a look into The Sims lore a little bit further. I gathered my information from a ton of different sources, videos across YouTube, Reddit, Sims Wiki, and so many others, so I will go ahead and put a couple links in the description box down below where you can find more information about the Pleasant family as a whole since this video does not cover the in-depth lore behind these characters. Let me know which Sims family you'd like to see me do next as I enjoyed doing this so much. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye everybody.